Punch time for WabTech officials and union workers as they approach a midnight deadline for settling contract talks. Tierra Braddock hopefully joins us in the newsroom with the latest. Uh, Tierra. Bill Sean, I'm here, and at this point, there is no word on whether or not both parties have reached a conclusion at the bargaining table. They are still in active negotiations. Time is running out for contract negotiations between officials at WebTech and UE Local 506 members. We've been watching this very, very closely because it has such dramatic potential harmful impacts to our community if they can't reach an agreement. The CEO of the Regional Chamber and Growth Partnership, James Grunke, says WebTech and union workers are not the only stakeholders in this situation. He added the Erie community also has a vested interest in what happens in these negotiations as well. Well, we recently did an economic impact study and we found if the 1,700 jobs were eliminated, the, met, the production jobs there, that would cause another 5,100 jobs to be lost in our community. Union workers say wages have been a sore point as WabTech workers propose a two-tier system that would mean new employees would be paid at a lower rate than current employees. Matt McCracken has been an employee at WabTech, formerly known as GE, for about 40 years. He says he's never had to deal with negotiations like this before. We, we'd rather be in there working. And all they've got to do is give us what we already had and we'll be in there making a lot of money for them and making a lot of money for us. The latest statement from WabTech reads in part, the union's existing stance on critical issues including wages and benefits is putting the preservation of jobs at the Erie plant in jeopardy. Meanwhile, James Grunke says he is hoping both parties reach a conclusion that is beneficial for the community as well. And as we get more information regarding these negotiations, we'll keep you updated here at Jet24 Action News and your Erie.com. Jill. Okay, Tara Braddock, thank you.